Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be filming my 8K special. I know it's a bit um, late, but yeah, I'm sorry. I haven't gotten around to filming it just yet because I haven't had time, but I have time today. So yeah, um, my 8K special I had you guys vote on, and I'm probably still going to do a lot of the other options. I'm just going, let's get Jim in the video. <laughs> I'm um, probably going to do them as well. I'm just filming this because this is what you wanted for the 8K special. So, in case you didn't know, I'm doing a highly requested stable tour and tack collection video. So yeah, let's get to it. I'm thinking I'm going to start with the stable tour and then end with the tack collection. This is kind of the big picture of it. They have all their stables, the field, oh my gosh, poor Dazzle, you can barely see her, and then all this. The stables are just half of cardboard boxes and they just open like this. And I just printed out pieces of paper and cut them out with their names on it. For the shavings, I just used a bunch of cut paper, which definitely it took me a while to get all their shavings done. Um, sorry, you can see the shadow on my phone. Um, but yeah, my hand was definitely hurting after that. Right back there, we have the pitchfork for mucking out. And then this is homemade. Someone made this for me, this field. And then this is just like grass, but whatever. It's like fake grass that you can just buy at the store. And then I have a little water trough for them in the bag. Excuse me. Uh, Sky's big butt, and then a little, um, oh my gosh, I'm after to like go under Dazzle. Okay, there you go. Um, a, uh, uh, oh my gosh, hay bale. <laughs> Sorry, I could like not think of the word, just so they can have that in the winter along with their grass. And then right next to the field, we have my barn. This is from American Girl Doll. It's the R generation, and it's originally pink and then brown, but I had it painted black and white, just because, I don't know, I just wanted to do that. In here we have a, if you know where those, those are from showing, as you can tell they're probably skies because they're all black, but this is from plaiting. I need to get rid of those. Um, I'll do that today actually. And, but yeah, these are just like little ceramic bowls that I got. Um, and I use those as their feed bins. I just wrote their names on it with thin Sharpie. I'll show you. So like, yeah, there's dreams. So I just use thin Sharpie so that I can tell them apart. Pony feed, I just made this little container out of a cardboard box and I use, um, that's my little scooper. I use oats, rice, and like powder for like supplement stuff. And then there's another water trough in here just cause it was like a barn before. I have my emergency, I don't know what this is, that's shavings probably. <laughs> I have my emergency horse medical kit, which just has some bandages and some um, antibiotic like ointment treatment in case any of them cut themselves unless they got infected. And then back here I have a couple hay nets for like traveling and just if like you're on box rest and need some hay. But usually they have their hay bale on their grass and they're outside unless it's bad weather. So they get a lot of hay. So that's just extra. And then right over here you'll also see me open this door. And I'll show you like that angle of it a lot. But this is my really big saddle pad collection. So these are my boots. Um, there are two. I just like wrap them so it's like easier to keep track of. And then this is just my half sheet all folded up, or like exercise sheet, as some of you call it. I say both. And then this is all my saddle pads, which I think I'll get to in a second once I finish like showing the stable and stuff. Um, and then my grooming kit, saddle, your bonnet, and then obviously all their halters on all the hooks. I did color code them, so like they each have like their own halter based off the color. And I think that's really cute. I picked the colors that I think like really complement like their um, coats and stuff like that. So yeah. Over here, I just have a bunch of hooks for the bridle. This drawer is empty, and then this is just a lot of backup stuff. So I have these little bins. I keep, I kept all the boxes because I thought they're cute. These are like little bins if we go to a sh like a stay away show and I need to pack their food. And then, yeah, that's it. Ember wanted to be the star of the show per usual. I love this angle of them. They're so cute. Um, good girl. On to the tack collection. I'm excited for this. Okay, uh, it's mainly just saddle pads because I just have the black saddle and the black bridle. I want to get the brown one and I want to get the martingale as well, but I currently do not have those. But yeah, we'll see. Christmas is coming up, so maybe, who knows? Um, but I did get the black because I knew I would get Sky eventually and I figured that the black and black saddle, black bridle would look a lot better on her versus brown. I feel like brown would look fine on all the other girls, especially like Dream, I think the brown would look good on her. But black goes with, like, all of them. So, yeah, that's why I got that. Much awaited saddle pad collection. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, definitely a lot. Um, as some of you know, I do have a real horse IRL. <clears throat> excuse me. 
You don't want to know how many saddle pads I have for him. In case you all didn't catch it in my last video, this is my half pad. Oh my gosh, it's sticking. And it's just like a fuzzy fabric I cut out in the shape of an oval. And yeah, so that's that. And then yeah, I'm going to lay all these out and then show you guys. In total, I have 10 saddle pads. Um, 11 if you count the half pad, but 10 saddle pads. Um, yeah, I did put them in rainbow order because like, why not? This is my dressage, so that's why it's like a different shape. Some of the sparkles did fall off, so yeah, I'm gonna ignore that. Um, but yeah, I have a lot of colors, and this is my only Lemire one. I do want to get more of these because I do like them, but I did make a lot. I just used fabric I bought at like a um, art store and then just cut it out in the shape of like a nice oval. This was like my first one I cut, I think, and then I just traced. This is it folded out, traced the rest. So it's like square and then rounded on the edges and then like traced the rest based off that one, I'm pretty sure. Um, cause I didn't get this one till later, but yeah, this one I think is quite cool because it's like a, like, has like patterns on it. It's not like a solid color. So I think that one looks like really good on sky cause it really pops on the black and it looks good on all of them, but you know, and then navy. And then of course I have my classic white for showing like with, uh, dressage with sky, especially, um, cause a lot of the show jumping shows I've done with the girls are like schooling shows. So they don't really care if like, I don't have to like be in like my show uniform and be all dressed up and stuff like that so I can just kind of pick a random saddle pad. But this, a white saddle pad's always good to have for showing and stuff. It's so pretty when they're all like folded neatly because I kind of just throw them in um, in here when I'm done because like, I don't know. <laughs> and then I have the Pacific ear bonnet to go with my Pacific saddle pad. And then the Pacific boots, which I showed you earlier, the other ones in there. I do those with my real horse boots too. It's just easier to keep track of when it's just like one thing. And then I have the Lumiere Toy Pony Grooming Kit. I am really happy I got this. Um, I wouldn't say it's like a necessity if you have Lumiere Toy Ponies. I would definitely get the pony and then the halter because the halter you can like tie the lead rope to and make a bridle out of it. So I feel like, cause I know these things are kind of expensive. Um, yeah, I would definitely, if you could only get like the pony and the halter, I feel like that would be the first two things I would get. But this is fun to have to groom your ponies. So all the brushes come in this nice little red bag that says Mary Lou Mary Pony and then it zips up. You've probably seen this a bunch of times in my videos before. And then in case any of you don't know, it comes with all of these. So it comes with a hoof pick, pick the hooves, mane and tail brush, a sponge, you know, sponge them off if they're dirty. And like a dandy brush and like hard brush or body brush and then a curry comb. I don't know why Lou Mary chose red. I mean, I don't mind it. I think the red's cute, but I think it would also be really cool if they had like a bunch of different colors. Like if you could get this in blue and then have like a bunch of blue brushes or like purple or pink or like green or any any color. Um, I think that'd be super cool, but I mean, the red's nice too. And then as you've probably seen before, I have four halters. I have the evergreen. This one is Ember's Pacific, which is Skies. This is with Steer. I'm pretty sure this is out of stock now. Um, I like discontinued that um, Dazzles and then this is the pink quartz, which is dreams. Thank you all so, so much for watching. I hope you have a lovely day. And I just want to, I don't want to be like that person, but thank you all for so many views on my last video where I took all of these girls show jumping. I think I'm going to do a lot more videos like that because they were, it was super fun to make and you guys enjoyed it too. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.